Love will change the world. That's what we were told in the 60s. Love will make you happy. Love one another. Love makes the world go round. All you need is love. We've talked of love nonstop for the last few decades. Actually, for the last few thousand years. Where exactly has it gotten us? Are we one step closer to paradise? Hardly. Love hasn't stopped war, cured crime, or eased poverty. Hasn't even come close. Look for any sign of improvement, and I guarantee you, you'll see only the most cosmetic of changes. Window dressing, empty symbolism, fatuous falderall. Things are getting better all the time, the Lovniks assure us. What about peace in the Mideast? What about harmony in South Africa? Sure, there's peace in the Mideast, in between bombings. There's plenty of harmony in South Africa, if you're wealthy enough to live behind electrified fences and locked gates. In reality, things have turned to shit. Social and moral decay is like an out-of-control cancer that's taken charge, a cancer born of love. If some people are actually stupid enough to believe that things are improving, it's only because their poor brains are so benumbed by love that they can no longer think straight. Love. Sickly love. Brotherly love. Unconditional love. Cowardly love. Geek love. A love that says relinquish judgment. A love that encourages acceptance at the expense of discernment. It's no wonder people imagine things have changed for the better when in fact all that's changed is their capacity to accept any amount of shit unconditionally. So the verdict on love is both bad and good. The bad news is that love has turned the world into a sewer. The good news is that people have learned to love the smell of shit. <laughs>